Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Kyle here. Look, blockchain is here to stay. We heard them words from Vladimir Putin talking about a decentralization, a decentralized economy, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and we all know they have connections with Ripple. Uh, do they have? Do they have one with Stellar? Do they have connections with Stellar? I'm not 100 percent sure. I can't remember. I'm having a blank. But uh, Ripple and XRP, definitely, they do have connections, especially with the Bank of Russia. And what else, guys? What else? Here was talk uh, Waves is also a Russian blockchain, I think. Uh, or they've, they've used it in Russia or talked uh, positively about it in Russia. You guys might have to check that out. I'm not invested in it, but that's what I know. Um, so, yeah, really, really good stuff happening. Um... Uh, I think about six, five, five, six days ago, I think the markets took a bit of a, I know, a couple of a percent dip and then went straight back up, um, recovered from those losses. And then I think we're just seeing upward pressure, honestly, with XRP. Sorry, I'm a bit tired, guys. I just woke up. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so we're seeing upward pressure with XRP, uh, mainly because of the Hinman emails, um, all the documents there coming out, which that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing if we get it. You know, I, I don't, I don't doubt that. Like, I don't doubt that anything could happen. Um, no, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Um, but yeah, look, I just every day I'm just like so lucky. I just feel so lucky to be a part of this community. Um, and I'm not just specifically talking about the XRP community, I'm talking about crypto in general, uh, digital assets. I'm just happy to be a part of this whole journey. It, it has taught me to be a better person. Um, not any people particularly, just, just in the way I go about things, in the way I go about research. Um, I don't know, it's just changed me. It's made me think more clearly, openly. Um, and, and and I think I've truly learned how to take a step back and really think about not just where I put my money, but where I put my effort. Um, it's just given me a whole new perspective on life. Um, <laughs> just this whole investing journey, you know. And I'm just really appreciative. I'm really grateful. And I guess I owe a little bit of that to you guys. <laughs> no, I, I, owe, I owe quite a bit of that to you guys um, and, and the people I watch on YouTube um, and all the documents. Hey, most of it is me because I read all the documents myself and I do all the research myself. But, you know, I love hearing new perspectives and different perspectives <laughs> and digital perspectives. Nah. <laughs> um, no, but look. Uh, blockchain is 100% here to stay. Russia's talking about it. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, the la la honestly, the last couple of weeks has actually made me pretty friggin' just happy. <laughs> um, just to hear all of this stuff. Not, n not necessarily good stuff, but just things happening, you know. The, the ball is rolling, you know. I feel like XRP is finally starting to snowball here um it's definitely gonna make some moves soon and um i just sort of suspect a little bit of fomo before like what maybe even first second third of june and probably before uh, the documents get released, I expect some upward pressure. Just FOMO, guys. Just like people expecting, you know, positive things to come out of the case. But honestly, um, I don't really... Look, this is a weird thing for me to explain, but it's just how I feel. I don't really care. Like, really care. You know, like, really care. Like, day to day, like, as I go. I don't really care what's, what's in these documents, guys. I, I don't care. It's interesting. And if you, wanted to, if you want to say that's me caring, well, whatever. But 
like I don't really care the outcome you know it's just like oh it's just all semantics it's a show to me it's all just BS I mean what what's the US gonna do <laughs> to me what's the US gonna do when the whole uh, when the rest of the world starts adopting this technology and you and the US doesn't oh yeah okay yeah they're just gonna give up oh yeah totally the US isn't setting up infrastructure and regulations behind the scenes that the world is waiting for well I mean there's Mika which will probably play a big role too but you know I, I so will the US you know and and that's like I don't know if I've said this in my past videos I can't I can't remember but I'll say this now I think I may have I don't know but in terms of like the US dollar going away I don't know if this is my same same opinion I can't remember but I think I've always thought like this um, but I don't think the US dollar is going away I just think it's there's just gonna be another version just like this there's different been different versions of money throughout history and I just think it's going to be another version will people freak out probably probably investors will probably freak out you know the people who aren't in the know just your regular everyday guy that calls up his accountants or you know whatever um, you know they don't know they're gonna get freaked out um, hearing all this stuff and they already are guys <laughs> already are um, countries pulling away from the US dollar like it's happening oh and another thing we've got to talk about <laughs> This is, I think, this is actually something pretty unique to this channel. Um, not exactly like, I didn't say it first or anything. Um, but I did say that we were going to have a transparency wall. Companies and, um, you know, the news, the mainstream media are going to all go at each other. <laughs> and look at, what's, look at what's happening. Look at what's happening. You have the Tucker Carlson thing, you have the Target thing, you have the Bud Light thing. You have all this stuff um, that's happening, and yeah, I said, look, you'll you, you, you'll have companies and mainstream media hosts go at each other um, and say, hey, you're not being transparent, you're not telling the truth, this and that. This. I was saying this months ago, guys. Um, not to toot my own horn, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool um, that I was able to see the macro sort of view of it. Um, I personally, I wasn't really seeing much people talk about it you guys may have a, I don't know that's just me I'm just in my own little world um, but no that's uh it's just a bit unbelievable actually it's like wow this is like a it's like we're living in South Park and uh, Black Mirror just oh let's add the Twilight Zone in there as well it's like we're living in all of that just in one you know um, it's bizarre speaking on Black Mirror I did have a dream uh, um, I did have a dream a while ago, a few months ago. I had a dream that I was watching the new Black Mirror season before it even got announced, before like people even knew it was friggin' about to like wrap up. <laughs> like no one knew anything about the new Black Mirror season. Anyway, I had a dream about it months ago, and I remember my dream was me being rich, like I was really rich, watching Black Mirror, happy. Like, I was happy, like, I'm happy now, but I was, like, really happy financially um, watching this new season. And I I do remember in my dream, it was in July. I swear to God, I swear to God, um, I did have this dream. <laughs> so, hey, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, look, hey, just stay positive out there. There's, there's been great news, um, you know, with the whole Ripple buying Medico and the custody and the, them saying um, they moved away from poly sign look is it surprising a little bit <laughs> a little bit but like is it okay yes guys it's okay it's not the end of anything guys it's, it, it's fine it's fine guys it's everything ugh. if blockchain is here to stay then you don't need to worry that that's all I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say we are a very small minority group of people guys we are a small minority um, especially the people that hold XRP <laughs> it's a beautiful day
and we're all going to make it. I'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye.